Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back once again. Uh, check this out. If you if you didn't know what was going on here, if you didn't have a trained eye, it, you would almost think, just just maybe, I was standing on the glass right now. It's It's almost like an optical illusion, isn't it? And I'm like some kind of giant. Maybe? Maybe not. <laughs> uh, anyway, so last episode, guys, we built this gold farm from scratch. Pretty much finished it all in one shot. It was... Oh, it was a project. <laughs> but we got it done. Uh, then, after that, I left my game running overnight. Uh, just to see if it would uh, have any problems or anything like that. And, oh my goodness, we are so rich now. Look at this, we got this all filled up. Look look what I got in my inventory here. A stack of gas tears. I've never held a stack of gas tears like this before. And not in creative mode. <laughs> uh, got zombie flesh there. Uh, if we go down and check what's what's in our chests down here. Let's see. Some more gold in this one. Is there any more gas tears? There's a couple there. We're actually getting a decent amount of gunpowder too. Oh, look at this. More gas tears. And more gas tears. <laughs> oh, it's so crazy. Um, and that's not it, of course. So this injection system thing is actually working out really well. Uh, where I basically have five of each item in the hopper, and then when the, the minecart leaves the station here, after it finishes unloading, it will pick up one of each of these. And that seems to keep it picking up the items I want and ignoring like the gold swords and every everything else that's kind of junk. Uh, got zombie flesh in there. Look at that! Isn't that crazy? We have over six stacks of gas tears <laughs> from this farm. Oh man. Oh. Uh, did I did I not pick up gunpowder? I guess not. And of course, the main reason for the farm is the gold, and we have gotten over three stacks of blocks of gold profit here. So we're going to be using these on beacons. Um, Mostly, that's that's basically what I'm planning on using them for. And uh, all in all, it's working out good. I do think we need to get a second minecart picking things up, though. It's not quite doing its job. It's I'm guessing about a third to a quarter of things are despawning because it runs out of inventory space. So I'll probably set up some holding system for a second minecart. Um, but we'll do that some other time. <laughs> I want to get out of here. I ha I haven't left this area since last episode, and uh, yeah, I think it I think it's time stretch my legs, go go see the world, not Sea World, see the world. Um, so I guess I will. Was I supposed to bring things? Ah, this is probably fine. Uh, I guess I'll see you at the man cave or some other area. Okay, guys, so one of the first things we need to do here is switch out the beacon at the man cave with gold blocks. We have to reclaim the iron and the, the emeralds we had here now that we have the gold. Did that do it? Yeah, I think it turned back on. Sweet. So that's cool. We got that one working, and we still have... Oh, it's it is just about enough for another beacon. Currently, you need like two and a half stacks of blocks. Hmm. I'm tempted. <laughs> this beacon doesn't quite reach all the way in the man cave. You know what? I locked myself in here, didn't I? I think I did. All right, I'm gonna go out this way. <laughs> totally built that the wrong way. From I, I went down and up instead of up to down. Uh. <laughs> You know, it's a funny thing. Perspective. When I built this thing originally, I thought it was the coolest thing ever. And so many of you told me I was wrong. And now that when I see it today, it is so ugly. <laughs> uh, yep. Uh-huh. So this is about it right here. About, about this line. I think if we cross over to about here. Yeah, now we got beacon effects. So a big portion of the man cave is actually not <laughs> uh, under under the speed effect, and I find it so annoying. I want to run around quick all the time, and when I come 
come to this area. I have to go so slow. Uh, so we're going to set up another beacon some somewhere between here. Uh, that will cover the second half of the cave that we've expanded onto. Um, before I do that, though, today's a random things episode, I think. <laughs> I want to do, like, lots of random things. Just, just kind of in that mood. Uh, first up, we're going to try to get a new, uh, new mule here. I, I want to set up the, the mule army sometime soon. I'm going to build the shuff, shuffle thing, the horse shuffler, in the nether today. Or two of them, or three, I don't know. We'll see. Okay, you? They don't... You know, it's been so long since I did this. I totally forget how it works. <laughs> Alright, they, they need their own room here. You and you. That's my quick horse. And my amazing donkey cart guy. And we have the fastest mule in the west right here. Alright, you're fully grown now? I think so. Oh man, this guy looked tall there. <laughs> I think because he was right in my face. Alright, right away. He's got 12 hearts. I basically just want a really quick mule. Or a bunch of them. This guy doesn't seem all that fast. Hmm. So I'm going to be breeding a few of them today. And I'm going to pick the quickest ones. And uh, we will use them for transporting stuff. Well, hello there. Oh, look at all the bats. <laughs> no, what's this? There's redstone down here. This is the laboratory. Why do I have a ladder here? Okay, so our new beacon is going right here, guys. This is about 100 blocks away from from the other beacon. So they have a radius of 50, 50 plus 50, 100 blocks, so this should be a good spot for it, I would say. And we're just going to have the one for right now because we were short on gold blocks, but we can easily get some more later. And I mostly just want the speed boost anyway. Oh yeah! So let's make sure it works. Yep! Woohoo! <laughs> that is so cool. Uh, a lot of the times I have to run between here and the stronghold base too, so this will make me uh, be able to get around a lot quicker. So next up on our list here, I want to do the horse shuffler stuff today in the in our Nether hub. So I figure originally I was considering putting them in the corners here or somewhere like that, but I think it'll throw off the circular, <laughs> super symmetric room we have here. So I'm gonna put them over here instead. I think I'm going to make a spot like here and the horse shuffler will be probably one one block back here and like like this basically. I think that would be good. And I want one at this end of the track and one at the far end of the track as well and at every stop. So if we don't take the rails, we can park our horse or our mule wherever we we end up here. Okay, everyone, so I got one of them set up right now. We're going to try it out. Here, I want you to have a chest. Will you accept chest? How do you do this again? I thought it was shift right click. Oh, just right click. Okay. Cool. You're going to help me out here, too. You're going to carry potions. Let's... <laughs> uh, yeah, we're up to like four or five mules now. I just, had, just made another baby one there. Uh, we want... Some more of these. Oh, you know what? <laughs> We're going to have trouble getting to the nether, aren't we? Here, let's grab one of one of these, too. I don't have the most convenient nether portal. 
Um, and I actually don't have any, like, a secondary one either, so... There we go, that's what I want. Alright, horse, you're gonna need this. Or mule. I always call them horses. So we gotta go through the creeper face. Can you do it? This isn't gonna work. <laughs> Alright. How about now? Nope. One more block. Did I not? I didn't place that in the right place. Okay. I wish you could ender pearl while on on a horse. It's gonna catch fire too. Alright, come on. There we go. Perfect. Not a problem at all. <laughs> Alright, we got him here. Yeah, he's good, he's good. He's on fire, but he's he's cool. Alright, so Actually we're both on fire. <laughs> it looks like he has uh, diamond uh, shoulders, doesn't it? That's pretty funny. Man, while building this thing, the most zombie pigmen in the world just were bugging me the whole time. Like, they all came into the wiring. Alright, we're gonna flip the lever. Drop you off. Flip it again. And let's try cycle them. Very good. And... Perfect. Yeah, so that's doing exactly what I want. Let me show you the insides here. Take these away. I've added a hopper and a chest thing back here for speed potions because I think a lot of the times I'm going to want to uh, go pretty quick. Oops. Here, let's take these out. So he, holds, he only holds 15 inventory spots, eh? I thought it was more for some reason. Alright, so yeah, there's a, there's a button here. Like, if this is closed, <laughs> I think I just squished his face. <laughs> this is closed. Here, you, you step back just a little bit. And you push a button. There's string in there. There we go. <laughs> uh, hopefully that, that hit him pretty good, and it's like five or six minutes. So that's with speed potion, hey? That's not too bad. It's not too bad. We should try to get, like, the quickest mules we can possibly get, though. That would be a fun goal. So, you want a really quick horse. And I think it's possible to breed donkeys so that they're quicker, too. Although very difficult. Uh, and if we get a quick donkey and a quick horse, we'll most likely end up with quick mules. Alright. Let me get, uh... Let me get some more mules in here. So we got this here. What do you guys think of this this little extension I've built on? It's not finished, as you can tell. There's another rack all over the place. I was really worried because this thing is pretty tall, and if you're like up close and, <laughs> and you got a tall thing in your face, you can't really see the whole thing in screen. So you kind of have to back up to get the full effect. Uh, but hopefully it's not too bad. I think it'll work out okay. Oh man. Are you kidding me? I guess I never had the water here before, did I? <laughs> hmm. Probably wasn't wise removing this door. So, um Donkey is gone. He still he still has some of his wonderful cookies though. Ah. Uh, well I'm glad. I'm glad it wasn't this guy, but we don't have a donkey anymore. This is terrible. I'm going to have to get another one. Oh, and you don't even like me. Donkey liked me. Hmm. Ah, uh, you know what? We have all these gas tiers now. We should actually turn this thing on. I'm going to brew up a bunch of potions right now because we ran out of speed ones. Uh, I moved them all to the nether there. Never thought I would ever, <laughs> ever actually use this thing. Like, uh, all these, all these chests, they have things in, right? Like, they're all, they all have some potions in. This one I disabled, the, the regen potions. Oh, I guess we got a couple in there. But, uh, figured I'd never get enough gas tiers to actually use this thing. So I put a lever in the back somewhere to disable it. I think it might be this thing right here. 
Oh yeah, I think that was stopping the hopper. So this guy has helped me out quite a bit already. Look, look at this. He has discovered, he's helped me discover there's a cave over there. <laughs> An unlit cave that I've missed. Um, I wasn't I wasn't even trying to do it. He just, he was so insightful. He made me run into here and, and suffocate. But when I was doing that, I saw I saw what he wanted me to see there. Uh huh. So that's actually lowering the the rates of our mob system up above here, which uh, like it's pretty close. So I should get over there and light that up, and then this thing will run a lot better. So, I found the cave. Uh, this is our skeleton grinder that was never set up. <laughs> and uh, I just dug straight until I hit it. Uh, let, let's just take a moment to light it up together. I, I actually want to talk to you guys about... Oh, this should be pretty interesting too. There'll be a lot of mobs in this. Especially if it's daytime right now. Uh, here, let's turn the sound down. <laughs> so... Steam Summer Sale, guys. I bought so many games this this uh, Steam Sale. Uh, I totally missed out on it last summer. I didn't really know what it was until later, and then I was really sad. Uh, but basically, every summer, Steam puts a bunch of games on sale, and they'll have new sales every day, and you check it regularly, and you get all kinds of awesome deals. So this time... Now that I know what it is, <laughs> I got like over 10 games uh, that I want to talk to you guys about, or just to tell you about them. So I got, I'll try to go through this sort of alphabetically too. Uh, I got Battle Block Theater, which I believe is made by the same guys that make Castle Crashers, the Behemoth. And I, I haven't played my Xbox 360 in a long time, but I tried the, wow, look at this. So many bats. <laughs> I tried the uh, the trial of it a long time ago with a with a friend, and I thought it was pretty cool. But I haven't had a chance to to play it yet. Um, most of the games I haven't played yet because I just got them. Um, I got Bast Bastion. Is that how you say it? Uh, I think I've seen a video of it. It looked kind of interesting, but I don't know too much about it. I got Bro Force. It's like an action platformer type of thing, which um, played that a little bit. It was pretty fun, actually. Um, you play as like a different like hero, like Men in Black or Mr. T or <laughs> Chuck Norris, all all these famous like uh, tough guys, and yeah, it, it's pretty cool. I like that one. Yeah, I got Castle Crashers, even though I have it on my Xbox. Uh, it was under a buck, though, so I decided to get it. Super cheap, like 90% off. And then I got the Don't Don't Starve expansion. So, hopefully soon, I will record that and put it up on my channel again. I know a lot of you have been asking for it. Oh, we got a witch down there. I got Edge of Space. I've never heard of this game either. I, like... All the games that were on sale, I pretty much just looked at them and saw if they looked interesting. Oh, you got me. Uh, turns out, Edge of Space was made by the same guy that made Terraria, and he used the same artwork in it. And I'm kind of interested in that. I don't know if it's going to be... I doubt it's going to be as good as Terraria, but... I'm, I'm excited about that one. Haven't played it yet, though. <laughs> Kerbal Space Program I got as well. I hope we don't die here. Uh, that was highly recommended recommended to me by Zisto, and uh, I've seen I've seen some videos of it. It looks like my kind of game, although it, it's a uh, seems like it has a steep learning curve. I'm not sure though. Haven't tried it. Um, I'm scared to look down at my list here because <laughs> I might die. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Magicite. I got Magicite. That's the game I've played the most so far. I love that game. Uh, it's it's almost like Spelunky, 2D platformer type of thing. There's crafting in it, which I like. Crafting systems and games. Uh, it's a roguelike game. I was I wasn't expecting much from that one, but it it turned out to be the favorite one I've tried so far. And got Project Zomboid. 
played that one a lot too. That one's pretty good, although I, after playing it for a while, I found it became very easy, and I wasn't dying in it anymore. <laughs> so I don't know if there's difficulty settings, I'll have to look into it some more. But you can basically just run away from the zombies and they can't get you. Um, Rogue Legacy is another one I got. I've seen a lot of people stream that game, so I'm assuming it's pretty good, but uh, I'm looking forward to trying it. It's a platformer. And got Transformers War for Cybertron, even though I have that on Xbox as well. That's that third-person shooter game that I really like. Uh, I want to see if there's any community left to it on the, uh, on the PC version, because I, I would love to play that again. But uh, on the Xbox version, people aren't playing it, really. And finally, I got World of Goo, because <laughs> it was under a dollar. I don't really like puzzle games, but I know that one was pretty uh, well-received. So should be fun to check out. Oh, and we've reached Torches. This is actually... There was more unlit here than I was expecting, honestly. Uh, anyway, <laughs> so that's my little uh, spiel. Is that the right word? Spiel? about uh, the games I got. Hopefully you guys picked up some too. Um, or else, hopefully you saved your money. Hmm, this is interesting. So, somewhere in the cave here, there's this, these three chests, right? Obviously I must have placed these a long time ago. I have no idea what's in them. I haven't checked. I'm guessing it's cobble, but we will see. Two gunpowder. Empty. Empty. Well, why on earth <laughs> did I leave these here? <laughs> it's so random. I bet you they're chests. I, mu I must have got them throughout the abandoned mine shaft or something. And I needed the inventory space. So I, rather than tossing them, I may have placed them. That's, that's what I'm guessing. Okay, everyone. So I finished up with the caving. And uh, pretty sure I lit most of it up, if not all of it. Seriously, this guy, he's still here. <laughs> when I was working on the wiring in here, like, 15 zombie pigmen somehow managed to find their way in here. <laughs> and were in my way nonstop. And uh, there's still a few of them here. One, two, three. Oh, should I do it? No, I'm not going to hit them. I'm so tempted to hit them, but not this time. Not this time, it will distract me. Uh, so yeah, back to the horse shuffler idea. So we're going to have a mule and a regular horse, right? And depending on which one I want, if I need extra inventory space in my, in my travels, I take Mr. Mule here. And uh, I've bred quite a few horses and quite a few mules so far. This guy's actually pretty quick. Um, and this horse I got here is pretty good, too. I may have killed a few, because <laughs> they were not quite of the superior breed. Uh, but uh, this guy, he's got 14 hearts. I wish he was just a little bit quicker, but he's not bad. And uh, was he a good jumper? I can't remember. I think he's a decent jumper, too. Yeah, so if I just want to go from point A to point B, don't care about picking stuff up or moving stuff, I will take a horse, because he's slightly quicker. Uh, otherwise, I will take a mule, and then I can carry stuff. Oops. <laughs> I wanted to try with the potion. Woohoo! That's speed one. Speed two is insanely quick. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for today's episode. I got our comment picked out. This one, oh, look at that pose right there. <laughs> he is doing the splits. Uh, this one's pretty good because it's actually like three questions in one. Uh, so for, it goes, first off, hey, Etho, have you been paying attention to the World Cup? If you haven't, what have you been watching? So we'll, we'll answer that first. Uh... I pretty much haven't watched television in about five years, <laughs> personally, um, with the ex with the odd exception here and there. But I, generally, I don't watch TV anymore. Um, so no, I haven't watched the World Cup. I 
haven't really watched anything too much recently. I'm trying to think. Uh, oh, you know what I watched recently was Prison Break I, from start to finish. Um, I watch TV shows on my computer while I play like Minecraft <laughs> or other video games. I can't just sit on a couch and watch TV anymore. So I generally don't watch sports unless I'm at somebody's place or something like that. And if I am to watch sports, I m only have interest in hockey and tennis. And pretty much no interest in any other sport. <laughs> so, yeah. To watch, anyway. Playing is a different thing. Um, second part of the question. I haven't turned my TV on in a year, I, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. It's, it's just so much more entertaining playing video games than it is to sit on a couch and watch TV, in my opinion. Especially since you can watch TV while you play video games. It just doesn't make sense. Um, anyway, and also what happened to the Minecraft server? So keep up the good work and don't stop. Believe in... Uh, I I can finally talk about this. I've had so many people ask me about the Minecraft server. I've wanted to a answer you guys, but we as a group kind of made an agreement that we wouldn't talk about it to, until a certain point. But as you may have heard, the Minecraft server is resetting. The vanilla one. I course I'm playing on the crack pack server um, so there's gonna be a reset on July 19th I think is when the videos will first come out um, so look forward to a new season I am going to try hop on the server and make some episodes before it resets so just because uh, it doesn't feel right just to <laughs> for it to end and not say like a goodbye to it of some sort Oh, squid just fell. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the dealio right now. We got some plans for the next season. Should be a lot of fun, hopefully. And uh, yeah, that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and I will see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.